Kerrigan knows that Jim Rayner is out there somewhere. This has been confirmed to us by none other than Emperor Mengsk himself. However, the issue is that she can't currently sense his location. In order to figure out where the Dominion has indeed imprisoned Jim Rayner, we have to hack into the Dominion's network. And the only person that we know who is capable of doing so is indeed Colonel Orlin, who of course we met during the Wings of Liberty campaign. Now in the previous episode, after a little bit of hassle, we managed to indeed free the Colonel from the hands of Mira Han. Broodmother Noctul has contacted us. She speaks for the remaining Broodmothers, not under your control. What does she want, they Isha? They feel your power, and they wish to return to the swarm. It's a good decision. Mothers, hear me. I am sending you the location of our enemies across the sector. Destroy them. Burn their strongholds in my name. Then, you shall be one with the Swarm. We shall do this, my queen. With their return, the Swarm will be whole. You are very near to your victory. And slowly but surely, every single one of the Brute Mothers... Oh, look at that! <laughs> Apparently the Hyperion in the background, but slowly but surely all of the brute mothers are returning to the swarm. Now I was assuming that maybe Colonel Orlin would be hanging out on the Leviathan as well, although he may actually just simply be on the Hyperion there in the background. By the way, before we jump into it, I gotta say, I love the fact that so many of you are really enjoying this series. I left two episodes, or two days rather, between this episode and the previous one, right? I still, I still uploaded other videos, of course, to this very YouTube channel, but two days went by. And I got a couple of angry messages of people saying like, Loco, did you give up on the Heart of the Swarm episodes? It's been two days, Loco, where's my Heart of the Swarm? Guys, guys, it's not going anywhere, okay? And actually... I think we're going to be jumping into the Legacy of the Void campaign as well, after wrapping up this one. I know we are approaching the ending, I am not ready to give up just yet, I'm really enjoying my playthrough here, so... You, uh, you've got a, a couple more months of campaign episodes coming your way. Anyway, uh, let's have a quick little look right there at the Hyperion. Have you found anything? Colonel Orlin is hacking into the Dominion Hurry up, right dude! Now. I'm in a rush! He's got one hour. Yeah! I won't do that, Kerrigan. Oh. You're already in over your head. Don't make it worse. If the Dominion sense our intrusion, they'll move Jim or kill him. I am not going to risk failure because you are impatient. So save your threats. <laughs> she likes you that. Some growing up since you, Moja. Zerg are not the only ones who adapt. Very well. I will wait for your expert to do his work. Yeah, she likes that. She can appreciate that, right? A little bit of power here. What's going on, Mrs. Zerkling? Good to see you. Um, Isha, how's your nose? The brood mothers dislike working with oh. Terrans. They were necessary to my plans. They are asking if we may destroy the Terrans. No. Now that they are no longer useful. Tell them the Terrans are not to be harmed. It is my will. I will tell them, my queen. By the way, one of you left a great comment in one of the previous episodes as well, saying that if Kerrigan can be nursed back inside of this little spawning pool in just what seemed to be a matter of minutes to full health after the fight against Narud, right? What if Isha goes into the pool as well? Does that mean she grows back a nose? Hmm, that's a great question. These are the kind of things that, of course, are very critical to answer, but I've got a feeling we will probably never know. Anyways, Dahaka, how are you? There will be no essence here. I cannot collect if there is You knew is about that. None. We we talked about this. We are here because our queen orders it. Do not dare question. Yeah. I follow for essence. You must learn obedience, primal. Yes, come to me. <laughs> I will collect your essence now. Enough. Zagara, do not speak for me. Dahaka, do not collect from my swarm. Dahaka getting a little bit pissed off about the fact that he uh, went aboard this train and then realized apparently there really wasn't a whole lot for him to gain out here. Pretty cool though. So I've already of course shipped uh, Kerrigan off together with Stukov. What about in StarCraft 3, right, in 2035? <laughs> so, somewhere along those lines. What about a Zagara-Dahaka couple? 
They can make the cutest little Zerg babies. What if they give birth to like, you know, Abathur 2.0? Speaking of which, what's up? Is it possible for the Swarm to hack into the Dominion's network? Terran systems inelegant. Problem with interchange. Many factors obstruct request. Biology. Language. So our thoughts are too different for anything beyond simple transmissions. Accurate. Zerg processes complex. Incompatible with Terran machinery. Then it's up to Valerian now. I feel like Abathur is low-key. You know, saying that humans are trash. You know, he's, 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 not, he's not really beating around the bush, but he's not even really giving us even like a moment of attention. Anyway, is there another evolution mission here once upon a time? I secretly hope that we're gonna get like a, an upgraded Ultralisk as well. Anyways, without further ado, I don't think there's a whole lot left to do since I didn't, of course, level up. I mean, in the previous episode, we were busy playing around with battle cruisers. Uh, wasn't quite capable of leveling up Kerrigan there. Let's see. Time to contact Valerian Ooh. and Warner. Eleven levels? I have to know where Jim is. Eleven levels? Hold up for a second. Does that bring me? Yeah, that brings me to the max. The last Kerrigan levels. Look at that. That's insane. So, besides unlocking 11 Kerrigan levels, we also will indeed get ourselves the Swarm Host Evolution mission. Now, by the way, I was talking about the scale of the Leviathan compared to the Battle Cruiser in the previous episode as well. I wanted to go ahead and include like a screenshot um, of uh, of um, of uh, one of the official artworks from Blizzard, uh, but I noticed that apparently uh, the copyrights on those files are a little bit differently than the ones that I've got right here, or at the very least, it wasn't entirely clear. So I decided not to edit that one in. But there's no denying that the Leviathan is absolutely humongous in comparison right there to the Battle Cruiser, which is significantly bigger uh, than, of course, like your standard issue battle cruisers. Now, interestingly enough, the Leviathan compared to the Spear of a Dune, which we will come across or which we will come across later, is once again absolutely minuscule. Anyways, uh, without further ado, it's time to rescue Jim Rayner from the Terran Dominion. I don't know if we're going to be able to do so here, but I'm very curious to hear what uh, what Jim Rayner has to say about uh, Kerrigan once again returning to the Swarm. Hyperion Bridge. Kerrigan. We found him. Where? He's being held on the Moros, a mobile prison ship that jumps every hour to a randomized set of coordinates. There's no way to predict where it will jump next. They've got to resupply sometime. Exactly. We know the ship will be at the Atlas station for 32 minutes tomorrow. Atlas will send a tanker out to the Moros, but when the fueling's done, it's gone. Our associate Tosh volunteered hey, to Tosh. infiltrate. No. You've done your part. That was Tosh in the background, didn't you see that? Oh, he's gone now. Careful, Kerrigan. Oh. This place makes New Folsom look like a nursery. I'm pretty sure I did see Tosh in the background just now, right? Am I crazy? Atlas Station. Jimmy boy! <laughs> no subtle approach this time around. Our sensors are tracking you. I'll relay any tactical information I can. Oh! Be careful, Kerrigan. My father will have made every precaution to ensure no one reaches Commander Raynor. He's not prepared for me. Our conquest Do I just get to play with Kerrigan? Ooh, I actually really like my setup right now as far as abilities go, though. This is a super strong, powerful setup. I assume, by the way, this was going to be another one of the Terran missions, but not quite the case. Frenzy, of course, absolutely insane, together with uh, Chain Reaction, or I guess it's called, is it called Fury? I think it was called Fury. Yeah, yeah, it is. Hit the alarm! The platform retracted. We're going around. Alright, of course, I also have still my spawn baneling ability, which is really nice. Brave soldiers of the Dominion, this craft is under attack by the Queen of Blades. You know what to do, man. Oh man, there's some prisoners hanging out over here. Now, of course, New Folsom. It's one of the areas we have been to already during the Wings of Liberty campaign. Definitely not a... Uh... Oh man, these worms continuously coming in. Definitely not a... Uh... You know, an easy mission there either. Although I did really like that one. 
I think before we jump into Legacy of the Void, by the way, after completing Heart of the Swarm, I first of all want to make sure that I do the missed episodes of the Wings of Liberty campaign as well. Like, for example, the alternative to New Folsom Prison, which I guess was also New Folsom Prison, but ooh, got a couple of Infestor now. Cool. Oh, look at that. Anyway, um, so I've got a couple of these guys once again. Can I, uh, can I have that big gun? Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. <laughs> I have no intention of, uh, of really wasting my, uh, my cooldowns here, though. Or I guess my festers. They are pretty nice. I'll pick up all the big abilities. All the big units. You're going to have to break through. Yes. Um, okay, so they've sealed the primary bulkhead? What does that even mean? My swarm. Guard me while I take care of this. Oh. <laughs> My swarm, aka the Thor. The swarm answers your call. Thank you, Zagara. She's breaking into maximum security. Stop her now! <laughs> Infestors alone could clean this up. Just Infestors and a Thor, I guess. How much? Oh my god, you guys regenerate energy real quick. Bravo engaged. Yeah. Send back up. Yeah, you guys regenerate energy pretty quickly. Well, it's not actually that crazy. I thought I actually was low in energy just now. Never mind. I kind of wasted a spell there, assuming it was going to recharge. Heavy real weapons fast. are moving in. Be careful. Minions. Defend our queen. All right, got a siege tank now. Tried getting the second one as well, but I wasted that energy because I'm a champion. How much energy? Oh man, not enough. It's the real question or the real answer. That's okay though. We absolutely shred through this, just because of the uh, parasitic dominate or domination rotter. All right, looks like we're good. Let's bring the siege tank with us. Maybe I was even capable of using Kerrigan's abilities there, I'm not sure. Kerrigan, it's Horner. The security station near you holds the ship's prisoner log. Hey. If you can, grab it. We'll figure out the rest after Jim's safe. Alright. Um, wait. <laughs> they can actually jump up there. Um, I do of course want to make sure that I find both of the secret documents. I'm just gonna backpedal here for a split second to see if I maybe missed any... I don't think I missed any other parts here, but... Hey, where's my siege tank? Did my siege tank go down? Oh no, it wasn't on the whole thing. What it is? Speak. Kerrigan, there's a large number of guards nearby. If I implant virophages here, the infested will tear into those defenses. Oh no! It's your call. My infestors ended up going down there, which is a little unfortunate. So wait, I've got a couple of different options now. Oh my god, that's not bad at all. I could actually siege away from a distance. I wonder if there was actually a mandatory thing to do. Maybe I actually really needed those units as well, because I've mostly just been messing around with my infester here, but... Alright. Well, Kerrigan, just get in there. What are you gonna do? Oh, you got a power up right now? Or are you gonna create a fire of phage? Okay. Oh, is this, this is gonna like... Okay. Is this gonna like shoot from a distance? Because these are really strong. Oh, okay, you're just gonna spawn little units. Okay, I thought it was actually gonna shoot like the big the big things, but no, it looks like we're good. Cool. A lot of Tigers, by the way, hanging out here. Look, that's Tigus Jr. Oh no, that's Sones. A death sentence on 12 systems. Oh my god, Sones. What did you do, man? Well, I'll take care of this, guys. There you go, he's gone already. I made uh, I made a call there. I'm gonna stick with it. Um, uh, don't have enough energy, sadly, so you can just stay around, uh, behind for a little while. Ooh, so many bane links! I got an achievement apparently. I like achievements. Speaking about achievements, as I mentioned already a couple of times, I'm still doing them over at the live stream. I want to make sure that I get 100% for the campaign ones. There's one that I still need to do for uh, Rings of Liberty, though. Hurry up, it's Raid Night! And then a bunch of the missions that I haven't quite shown you on YouTube. I want to make sure that I do those during those videos as well. What's that? Oh, hey. 
I'm sorry, uh, Dominion uh, Reaper. You tried, but... This isn't happening. Destroy the coupling. Jettison the prison deck. You heard the man. Blast it. We're cutting the prisoners loose. You think this is a smart thing? You really think cutting the prisoners loose is smart? Makes your queen retribution. All right. Well, let's just wait for a couple. Oh, wait. I actually, I am not capable of waiting. I was gonna say let's wait for a couple of the infested Terrans to uh, to get here. But... Taking heavy damage. What is it? All right, there we go. <laughs> These spells that I've currently got, like Kinetic Blast is super helpful here. I'm glad I listened to you guys and picked it up. I did not think you would be so foolish as to come here. And now, your actions will lead to the death of all these brave men. Oh no, there's an elevator. What did he just say? They are all heroes, willing to sacrifice their lives. Why wouldn't he just blow up the entire ship? He doesn't really care about Jim. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's bad, right? But. Carrigan, we just watched the bridge explode. The Moros is tearing itself apart. You have to save Jim. We're running out of time. All right. It is time. Yes. Oh, looks like my units could fit on the elevator after all. Hey, I've got two infestors again. Why can't I not reach that? Okay, well I got one. That's at seven HP. Wonderful. Um. Okay, my infest is in the front. I have two again for some reason. Can't run if you're fungled, my man. Where do we go? The whole side of the ship is gone. More and more units flooding in. Enough of this. Tear down that gate. There we go. Actually, the fact that I've got a bunch of Terran units right now does make it pretty straightforward. Go, go, go. This is the I don't know how much of a rush I'm in, though. Pods. And please keep in mind, I want to get that bonus objective. I still haven't seen it. I don't know if it's on this level or where it is, otherwise I'm gonna have to go back. It's probably on this level, I can't imagine it is, but... I hope I didn't walk by it, I wasn't really looking for it, to be honest with you. I wasn't really looking very much for it either. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go back. Because I really don't want to give up, like, you know, one of my Kerrigan levels and not... You know, be at level 69 may look interesting and all, but... Oh, it's over here. It must be over here. You know, I know that some of you would like me to be at level 69 here, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. But uh, I'm gonna go straight up to 70. Go, 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 go! Roger that. Two minutes. Thank you, Let us in, you bastards! Oh. I was gonna say, I don't seem to have a massive army left over, but still my Terran Dominion units, though. They're pretty good. That siege tank helping out a bunch there as well, but my reinforcements came in at a really nice moment. Ooh, that's still a lot of units there. Oh! <laughs> Sure. No, nah, I'm actually okay. I'm totally fine. Jimmy boy! <laughs> it's been a couple of days! Well, a couple of months, really. I'm a little different than last time you saw me. Remember uh, when I was wearing that really tight metal suit? I'm a little more um, <clears throat> organic now. Let's leave it at organic. Really curious. I don't actually know what Jim is gonna say. So we have come to save him, right? But in order to do so, we turned into the Queen of Blades once again. At least I didn't take his smokes. Sarah? No. I had to get you out. What have you done? What I had to. Tell that to Phoenix. Tell 
it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one Wait, who ever believed in me. Do you still believe in me? He's got a gun in prison? No way! I was assuming this was gonna be a happy little ending to our love story. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Oh, wow, I actually did not know that. So wait, she quite literally moved heaven and earth, right? Well, not, not quite literally, but like, she, she really went through hell to try and get him back. Basically the same thing that he did in, 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 you know, the Wings of Liberty campaign. He really went through a lot of trouble just to try and return Sarah Kerrigan to her human form. And now we have finally rescued him. You know, in really the only way we saw possible. And this is what happens? I can't help but feel a little bad though, right? For Sarah Kerrigan. Is that just me? I mean... In a way, she she probably went wrong when she first saw the news, where Emperor Mengsk announced that Jim Rayner was captured and killed. Right? She believed that part, then decided, uh, then she decided to uh, to go out for revenge, to try and kill him. And then along the way, we found out that Jim wasn't actually dead. But at that point, at that point, she already turned into the Queen of Blades once again. Um, yeah, I I feel a little bad for her, honestly. Anyways. Apparently, we had 171 Kerrigan kills. 11 uh, Kerrigan levels were gained here, as well as the Swarm Host train. I'm very curious to see where this is gonna go, though. This may very well mean that, once again, Kerrigan gets very pissed off, and that she wants to go ahead and murder Emperor Manx to try and maybe make things up between her and Jim. Although, that's a little bit far-fetched. At the very least, we do know that Jim Rayner has just change their relationship status on, on Facebook to it's complicated, right? It's it's definitely true that their, their relationship status right now is, is complicated. But anyways, uh, we did get a bunch of achievements. First off, we got this one right over here. Secondly, we have the staying alive one. Preventing Kerrigan or prevent Kerrigan's life from dropping below 50% in the conviction mission. I really think that the Thor that we picked up early as well as the siege tank really helped out there. I think I must have gotten one of the mastery achievements as well. Not entirely sure what that one was, but regardless, I did not unlock Saturday Night Fever. Reached the prison deck with Kerrigan in less than 8 minutes in a conviction mission on normal difficulty. I think we are perfectly capable of doing so. But as I mentioned a couple of times already, I'm gonna be doing achievement runs over at the live stream. That's twitch.tv slash loco TV where I stream Monday through Saturday, 2 to 8 p.m. CEST. Unless, you know, there's like a national holiday or something else is going on in my life and I have to move it a little bit or maybe even cut it out every once in a while. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. Other than that, I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day, okay? Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one.